Hi, Zach here. Today, we are going to finish the responsive layout series. And we will be using CSS Grid to create responsive uh, web page. And the CSS Grid is designed for grid layout, which is perfect for uh, website layout design. And unless you are sure that your users will be using old browsers like IE 9 or 10, um, we recommend that you use CSS Grid to create uh, layouts for your website. If you are not familiar with CSS Grid, you can check out W3 School's um, tutorial. And then we are looking at this uh, example provided by CSS Grid, uh, provided by W3 Schools. And here is the tutorial for the for grid for CSS Grid. Okay. Um, there are many ways to um, create responsive layouts with CSS Grid, and the easiest. I would say is the is to use the grid templates areas. Again, we can um, divide it into three steps for um, this part. First, you need to assign a name for the grid area to each grid item, and then you use grid templates areas to control. Um, how much space each grid will each grid item will take finally um, we use media query to change the space occupied by uh, each grid grid item let's um, take a look at the example here so you can see we have a container called grid container and then inside the grid container we have five items uh, they have the class name from uh, item 1 to item 5 they they represent different sections of a website such as headers footer and uh, main content okay in the style in the CSS style we can see at the very beginning um, we set a name for each grid area so the item one is set to be header as a grid area and the item two is set to be menu three as main and then right and footer so later on we can uh, control the the width of these items with the name with the grid area name okay in the grid container we set the container as a grid container so we did it's like the flex box you just use this use display uh, property and send it to be grid like in flex box you set it to be flex right and then for the grid template area this is the key point of the css grid as you can see we have six headers here and then one menu three main and two rights and finally one menu and five footer what does that mean it means we have uh, six columns here and then three rows and the header will take over one row as you can see you can there is only header on this in this row and then it takes up all the six columns in that row and in the second row we have one menu three main and 
to write that means menu uh, main the width of main equals to three menus like the width of three menus let's take a look at a full size as you can see the main the main section takes up about three times of space as the menu as the menu section and then the right section takes up about twice as the menu section that's what these parts mean and finally a footer is five times wider as the menu so as you can see the grid temporary area setting shows um, the final result of your grid layout that's why this is uh, very useful and easy to use because you can see the final result like right here right and that's why we recommend you to use CSS grid to create layout because it's you know um, so simple and and you know useful okay finally we need to use um, media query to apply to make it responsive but in this example um, as the example is for showing CSS grid layout um, it is not responsive yeah as you can see here but we can make it responsive easily let's go back to my website and all we need to do is to add the media query so I set the breakpoint to be 700 PS and then we only need to change the grid temporary areas in the grid container so as you can see here I make it um, each section takes up uh, a whole row let's copy this and put it into the style in the example let's see how, how it works see each section takes up a whole row that's exactly as um, it shows here again this is why the CSS grid is so good for layout design you can just see the layout the final result right here so that's all for uh, CSS grid again this example um, is not mobile first you can change it to make it uh, mobile first and you should do it yourself as an exercise um, as usual I've already uploaded um, the code for the for this post on github feel free to take a look and download the source code okay that's all for CSS grid I was thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye